and then diving deep into the micro si- microbes mm. side of things when using synthetic mm-hmm. nutrients, like we like mentioned before, they're in ionized form already uh, available for plant uptake. Are microbes useful when using synthetic nutrients? Some people say it is. Some people say that microbes are going to be able to survive in the high salinity environment, and it's going to be useful when using synthetic nutrients. Other people say that microbes are completely pointless. You should not be inoculating your medium when using synthetic nutrients. What's the real deal with that? So it's funny you ask that because I just had this conversation with Colin from Crop King um, the other day. Um, awesome consultant, awesome awesome dude for, for you know, all things plant related. But he, he had the conversation of, you know, he, he doesn't believe microbes are are needed in a hydroponic medium. And so my, my answer is kind of um, twofold. Um, first, you have to break down hydroponics and like synthetic fertilizers. Like, are you using just water culture? Are you using any substrates? Because cocoa and pea are still inert, rock wool is still inert, and they're still hydroponics, right? So when I go to water culture, I like to keep everything as sterile as possible. Anything that you're adding microbially is going to create in, in its own environment, and it's going to create some slimes and films, and you're not going to know what's going on. Um, the only time I, I will say microbes are, are effective in the water culture specifically, so like your deep water culture, your aeroponics, your sprinkler irrigation, all that fun stuff. Um, the only time that you really are, I, I feel microorganisms are effective is using them as, as biopesticides. You know, trichoderma, certain strains of bacillus um, produce antifungal, antibacterial compounds that you can, like uh, root shield or um, uh, Bavaria brassiana with the uh, um, uh, botanic gear, or botanic guard, sorry. Um, all those are really good for protecting the root system, killing any type of pest that might be in the root system, but I wouldn't be using any type of nutrient cycling bacteria or any type of mycorrhizae in a water culture synthetic system. Um, my second part of this is like if you use a substrate medium like cocoa, rock wool, uh, peat, and it's all inert, still hydroponics, but you have a substrate for the, for the organisms to live within. And here is where you find um, the, the, the usefulness of microorganisms, I feel. Mycorrhizae, it, 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 can, it can be helpful, it can be handy. Um, it, you know, you, with mycorrhizae, it requires an insoluble phosphorus source. And then the mycorrhizae takes that insoluble like rock phosphate. It takes that insoluble rock, uh, rock phosphate and it digests it and breaks it down and then it's connected intravenously within the plant. So then it just injects the phosphorus in there. When you're using synthetic phosphates, you're not giving the mycorrhizae any food. You know, you're not giving it any, any, any of its natural function to actually survive inside the media. And so I, I don't really think mycorrhizae is a good choice when you're using synthetic hydroponics. Um, and then when you have the nutrient cycling bacteria, plant growth promoting, promoting rhizobacteria, they release natural hormones around the root systems to increase root production. They can help stabilize the pH so you don't get pH fluctuations throughout your, your synthetic uh, uh, crop cycle. You, you know, it can also help break down, if salts do end up binding together and locking you out or, you know, coming together and pr- um, creating some precipitant molecules in there you start to see the white crust on the top of your substrate the the natural the nutrient cycling bacteria like the bacilluses can help break that down and alleviate lockout and just keep ppm steady um so it really depends on what you're trying to do um it's very much of a dynamic answer i guess um but i mean using slf 100 enzymes always good it just keeps everything clean it keeps everything broken down um, we have a product called Flush. Um, it's uh, a weak organic acid. Use those to keep everything broken down. Um, I, I don't really suggest going really hardcore with the microorganisms inside a synthetic system. Okay, so you mentioned hydroponic system, uh, inert mediums. You wouldn't necessarily go towards using microbes. But how about soil? You did mention some benefits that uh, really microbes can be useful in soil when using synthetic nutrients. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to steer away from using synthetics in any type of soil just because you have a, a rhizosphere, an environment in the root zone where you um, need to take care of certain microorganisms, and sometimes they can be really sensitive to the synthetic fertilizers. Um, most of the time, nutrient cycling bacteria are okay with it. Um, sometimes you can really impact a mycorrhizal network by using high phosphates. Um, but, you know, it, if it comes to water culture, I stay away from everything microorganism related outside of biopesticides. 
you know, your trichodermas, your bacillus, your antifungal, antibacterials. Um, if you're in an inert medium, like cocoa, like peat, rock wool, um, I like to throw in nutrient cycling bacteria for their ability to create hormones around the root zone, cycle nutrients, stabilize the pH. Uh, if I'm in soil, I am a, I go very, very heavy with the microorganisms and try to stay away from salts as much as I can. Um, salts will, can tank out the microbial sphere that you've created. Um, so, you know, keep it, keep it organic. Soil is supposed to be a slower uptake anyways. And that's why you rely on the microorganisms to kind of be the, the, the fuel in the car, the gas pedal, you know, um, the more microbes you usually put inside and in, into an environment, you know, within, um, good means, uh, the better off your, your soils do because they can break down all the amendments that are unavailable to the plant. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.